What's up guys, Ankle Spankin here, and today we are playing as Jungle Brand, and I swear I just watched the clock jump from 7 seconds to 10 seconds. What the fuck? Did that actually just happen? Whatever. Anyways, let's go on with this game. And... Take number two with Jungle Brand. <laughs> it's not because I did terrible. Everyone did terrible. It was great. It was actually still really fun. But... I know how much you guys hate watching me feed sometimes, so I just decided that, hey, we would have fun. Anyways, with Jungle Brand, this is actually a jungler that I really, really, really do enjoy playing. Not really much of a jungler champion. Um, and actually, we may even see Support Brand becoming a thing, because he's one of the few people that still has a large stun with the two-second stun on his seer with, uh, with the blaze on people. So... Looks like we do got the double zombie squad going on up here with the Rise and the Brand. We'll see how this ends up. Uh, ganking top should be relatively easy. Just from him being able to room prison and I can stun off of that. And then, of course, with the mid laner being in Manalus mid, I do get the blue buffs, which is beautiful for, uh, for Brand jungle. Absolutely beautiful. And... As far as unconventional junglers go, like I was saying just a second ago, he's definitely probably my favorite one. Definitely, probably. Uh, good, good, good thing I'm speaking like that. But I do think he is easily one of them. Just because, like, he does such a massive amount of damage, uh, and he actually doesn't have a bad clear after, uh, after you get your first stuff. Which, surprisingly enough, Oh god, this will hurt some. This is... Ah, this wasn't a superior leash! Ah! Damn it. Alright, whatever. We should be good still. Alright, I'm gonna definitely go through a few more potions than I normally would. Because we don't have a tanky type laner. That's like the big problem was, uh, with Brand Jungle. Is that the first clear is painful. Absolutely horrid. It hurts so much. But after you get through this... It's all good, dude. It's all good. It's all good. But, when you're doing this, just try and kite around the camps as much as you can. Try to avoid, you know, taking any damage you really don't have to. And, of course, have your potions ticking the whole time. Then run down here and get your red. And this is where things get tricky. Because if... Oh, God, it's a least Sin, too. If the enemy jungler tries to, um... Mess with me, I'm pretty well fucked. Uh, because that's... That's... That's the scary part for Jungle Brand. Because if you get invaded, like, where's your dueling potential? It's non-existent. Literally, you have none. You will get destroyed. And this is a risky one for me. Whoops! Uh-oh. That's awkward. Whatever, I'm gonna kill the little one. Alright, there we go. I should be able to kill it now. That's so awkward that I just pillar flamed like that. Alright, yes! Oh my god! Two skills missed like that. Wow, I didn't know you could do this with golems. That's really convenient, actually. Like, for someone like me, that's really convenient. Here, let me just take a year and a half to kill the big golem for you guys. Because uh, I'm sure you love watching that. It looks like Donger Mid is having a good time with Perdun playing Zed there. Hopefully, after we get a little bit of... Uh, a little bit of mm -mm on him, we'll be able to do something. And I actually just messed that up pretty terribly. That sucks. I conflagrated too early, so it didn't spread my conflagrate, or it didn't spread my blaze, I mean. And that ruined that, uh, that camp. Let's go ahead and pill it right there and auto that and go back. Because I do really need to back right now. I really badly need to pick up my spirit stone. Ideally, if I had a bit better of a leash at the beginning, I would be able to do probably two more camps and then get the spirit stone and boots on my back. Or even if I got a good gank off, I would be able to, um get spirit stone and like an amplifying tome or something for that early damage because that's where I'll really be shining is with my my early damage this game or just my flat damage in general so I'm going to actually run over here and get these wolves real fast and then I'll see if I can gank top maybe actually I don't know if I want to gank top whoops man I forgot I have my seer however I'll use it to stun the big one that'll avoid a lot of damage for me there we go and the problem with Ganking top right now is that he's so low on mana. Uh, I can still try. It's definitely still a possibility. He has enough mana to room prison, and that's all we really will need. So if he can room prison him, if he can prison him, if he can prison him, come on, 
Come on, get the prison, get the prison. Oh, that's a prison. That will be not a stun landing. I'm going to go ahead and flash gun flag rate it. And that will be a first blood auto attack with the red buff dot going off on him. Very worth my flash. I'm just going to help him push that wave out real fast. So first blood going down for us. Even though I totally whiffed my stun and everything by blowing it straight into a minion's face. Still going to be the first blood for us. And that should definitely help the rise massively. <sighs> So he's going to rise back to that top lane later. <laughs> Got the white camp, and we'll see if I can get these wolves as well. That way, um, I can get to level 5, and then also get my fiendish on this next pack. So, that'll help a lot. I'm not going to bother using my potions here. Um, oh god, will I need to? No, I won't need to. I got that level up, though. So let's go ahead and just kill that. There we go. And now I can go back. I'll be able to get my fiendish codex and still not have to purchase more potions. So that'll be helpful. My blue will be up in about a minute. So going to be able to use my smite one more time before I need it for the blue. And then I should be six and I should be able to gank again. Which bot lane may be hard to gank because of Yasuo. Because if I get windwalled, just like that, um, that would be very bad for me. Because there would be my seer and my pyroclasm gone just from a windwall. And I'm sure you guys can imagine just how much that would really bone me. Let's go ahead and sear that conflagrate pillar of flame. And the whole thing is gone. So, let's walk over here and do the white camp. So, after I get the white camp, my blue should be up. And I will have my smite after that. So, after that, oh, looks like Lee Sin's top. I need to get up there pronto. Rise is six, though, so he can duel him. I'm on my way. I'm on my way, never mind, they're not going in. I feel like if he played it properly, he could have actually dueled them, possibly. But, you know, better safe than sorry, so just flashing out of there. At least I was able to respond pretty promptly as well, so we know we're paying attention. And get that blue, there we go, got the pyroclasm now. And we'll see what we can do. Looks like there's a bunch of damage going off on Rise there. Those super mega death whatever beam going off and will not kill him. And let's see if we can get this guy. Looks like he's running the wrong way for me. And that will be... Oh, hello. Where are you going? The stun landing. That will be a conflagrate pyroclasm. And let's go ahead and drop this W right here. And that will not... There it is. And... Bop! There's the kill. Get out of here, Velkaz, you floating freak. And that will be the end of his life. Not getting away from me, trying to chase down my little Rise. And he is going diggity downtown. So that will be a white camp for me. And, oh god, oh god, white camp. Stop, 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 stop! Okay, we're good. Huh, I was getting a little nervous it might kill me. Leeson probably didn't take my red because he's top. Nice. So I'll be able to get my spirit on this back and then we'll pick up boots. And moving fast, got the uh, got the conservation stacks now. Going to start making mag cash. And it looks like, oh, Rise going after him. The room prison coming out. Overload. And he just needs one more auto. And the slow from Velkaz going out. He got too cocky. And he is just going to blow everything he can on Velkaz and die. So, there goes the entire advantage I gave him up top. I hate you. And let's go ahead and pick up this red and see if I can gank bottom with my Pyroclasm. Coming bot after red. Go ahead and tell them that. Throw my Q. And that will burn it. And let's see if we can do this. Looks like... How's he doing? 57 to 63. Alright, he's doing fine. So let's go ahead and go in here. Oh, the flash! And here I am. Let's go ahead and get in here. The stun going out right there. And this will be the pyroclasm bouncing on both of them for the total turnaround on that blitz flash initiate. Absolutely shredding them for the double kill at the bot lane. No wind wall to stop it either. So that will definitely, definitely bone them a little bit. Great job going down everywhere. And let's pick up this... Ah, fuck nuts, I missed it. Whatever, still going to be able to clear the wave. And this is what I was saying earlier. Even with, you know, brand being brand, it's... It's... It's a little uncanny how decent of a jungler he still is. Hello? Go ahead, Lee, jump on me, I dare you. <laughs> I dare you, Lee, I dare you. 
I would, I think I would Shrek him. So, I was actually hoping he would jump on me. But let's go ahead and keep using our conservation stacks. I have a potion popping just to get my HP back. Go ahead and Seer, Conflagrate, and W, as that is the standard combo for clearing the jungle camps. Unless you're killing a single camp, then I will show you that on the white camp. Because if you're killing a single camp, obviously you don't want to try and maximize AoE, so you can flagrate, then sear for the damage, and then you W, and then you smite, and then bam, no more white camp. So let's go ahead and see if we can run top, get another gank off up here, and if we can just run in on him, it'll probably go off, and that pathing is OP. So, as soon as I get up here, if he just charges in, we got him, and go, 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 go. Is he going to ult? No? 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 Are you... No? Come on? Whoa! What is this Lee doing? He is getting murdered! <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, that damage. All right, let's see. He could... Oh, Zed. Zed, my boy. Let's see it. The ward coming out. And Velkaz knows he's running for his life in the shadow dash. Oh, God! Oh, God! <laughs> I was not paying attention. Oh god, that scared me. Oh my god. Oh god, I was not paying any attention whatsoever. Holy shit. That just scared me so much. I'm so glad that I didn't die. Oh god. Alright, looks like two kills going down in the bot lane too. Great job down there. And that will be... Oh wait, I got a blue from... Killing Lee, nice. And that will be a blue for me. No blue for the donger. And Perdon actually being able to pick up a kill now will help him out a lot in this matchup. Because since he was able to finally get some money, since donger has been doing a great job denying him, uh, it's... And I've been really slacking with my duties as a jungler uh, by not ganking when he's so pushed all the time. And donger actually left. So I don't know where he went. But you could tell he left because all of his turrets are deactivating. So let's... Oh, God! Okay. Okay, Heimerdinger. Stop! Stop! I didn't do, do not want... Alright. Heimerdinger... I don't know where Dinger is. I don't know where he went. Oh, there he is. Hello. Was he just chilling? Man, this Donger is way better than I was with Heimerdinger. Yeah! You run all the way away from that CS. No CS for you, buddy. It looks like Blitzcrank may be coming up here. Oh, hello, Lee. Yep. Uh-oh. 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 Oh, wait. Maybe? Not in the pickle yet, but Lee Sin. You, sir, look like you are in the pickle. And let's see if I can get him over here. Maybe? Where are you at, Lee? Where are you at? Oh, damn it. He just recalled. Fuck, whatever. I'm going to take his red. Because now that I know they don't have a top laner to stop it and Lee just backed, this is totally mine. So gimme, gimme, gimme. This is mine, not yours. Q. And let's see. Looks like, whoa, the lantern. Their passage will save him. Oh, Donger is over here. And the flash from the Donger. Now I'm just going to go ahead and take out this turret. And assume... Whoa! Whoa, God! Oh, God! Oh god, let's see if I can- ah, da, da, da. Okay. I guess there were four of them. They did a really good job of not stacking, too. Uh, if I want to point out anything that was really, really good on their part about that, it's the fact that none of them stacked. Um, when you're against a brand, the worst thing you really can do when you run into them is straight up stack. Because when you stack, his Pyroclasm can bounce to all the targets and kill everyone. And that's, you know, that's, <laughs> that's a problem. Because if that Pyroclasm goes and kills everyone, then you know you're dead. Oh, Lee! Lee, you took the red! He took the red, didn't he? Oh, wait. Wait for it. He's dead. Yeah, you're not getting out of this one, Lee. You're not getting out of this one. Look, he... Oh! Oh, get juked for not! Oh, this! Oh, he deserves those doubles, dude. He deserves those. Perdon just got juked so hard. He thought Lee was gonna try and key over the wall and go to the dragon, and nope, didn't happen. 
So let's go ahead and just drop the Pillar of Flame. Whoa, hello, Donger Turret. Wham, look at that damage. And that will not be a stun. And let's see. Oh, the Donger Turret and baited. And let's see if I can... Pyroclasm, please. Pyro, please. My Pyroclasm didn't go off. I tried to spam it. Ah, that sucks. Oh, well, we got a top turret. It looks like Rai's actually just all in in right here. And the Overload, will the Ignite get him? Yeah, it will. So that will take him down. And... Donger is scary. I actually didn't know he had a Zonia's, so that totally shrekt me. So, great out play on Heimerdinger's part there. But, we do have all the Magic Pen now, so we will be doing a lot more damage. I'll be moving faster, and I need to stop being a goof, because it's getting me killed. Um, and that's not good. But I do need to check if my blue's up. I wouldn't be surprised at all if they took it. I think Heimerdinger is actually recalling in that bush, because I didn't see him leave it. Um, I'm not going to bother trying to stop him, because I really... Oh, it is up. Sick. And then we'll get this. That'll be that. Looks like getting killed by the Lee Sin. And go ahead, smite. Whoa, no. Come on. There we go. There we go. Now I got it. And I should be able to kill him pretty easily if I can just get a stun off on him. That's... That's asking a lot of me, though. Because, you know, I'm bad. All right, let's see if we can... Oh, hello. Hello. Come on. No. Huh. Lee, where did you go? Lee, where did you go? Where did you go? God, he has mobility boots. Fuck my life. I was really hoping I'd get a Pyroclasm off on him and bounce it between Yasuo and Lee. But it didn't happen. So, you know, it's a hard knock life. All right, let's see if we can get this. Looks like the... Uh, Death Sentence coming out. There's the stun, and the Zonia is going to come out. There it is. And that will be the end of that Death Mark Poppy, and that will be the end right there. The Hook coming out, and the Flash. And shit, I am in such a pickle. All right, Varus coming in. Dark Passage going out, and I'm going to actually stay right here. Oh, looks like Varus may be in a pickle. The Chains of Corruption coming out, stopping their entire team dead in their tracks. Damn, that was a huge chain. All right, looks like he's going in. That will be wham! There is not a kill there for me, but that will still be something. All right, got the flash, and that will be... Oh, the hook on Heimerdinger! And let's see if we can get this, and that will be... Whoa, there's an assist for me. All right, we got to keep chasing after this, because if we don't keep chasing, we have no balls. All right, Perdun knows the right thing. And it looks like we're all running the wrong way. So, let's see if their blue is up. But I want their blue! They're right though. Dragon is a way better idea than trying to get their blue. How much does this do? 640. So, as long as I bit. <laughs> oh, looks like he is getting grabbed! And that will be the end of that. So let's go ahead and take this. What? What the? Oh, where are you going, Lee? Where are you? Uh oh! Whoa! Hey oh! Uh oh! Uh oh! Oh no, get me out. Okay, I was ready to flash in case Bliss tried to hook me, but, you know, we should be good. Busting the Pyroclasm to get myself out, and let's just see how it looks. Oh, look at that damage and the snipe for the kill. Good follow-up, Zach, picking up that kill off of my stun. It looks like there's two Donger turrets there. I'm going to take those out real fast, and let's see. It looks like Perdun ran into a Heimerdinger, so taking out that pink ward looks like, oh my golly goodness that turret damage and Yasuo just pushing top all day that is not good for us but it's actually not very good for them right now either because they really need Yasuo around uh, if they want to stop this push but Perdon is going back because he is low anyways so he's just going to stop him from pushing and we'll be able to zone him out a little bit I did hit the oh that's not good but the snipe coming out and the chain will hit the turret instead and let's see, that will not be a bunch of damage, and the ultimate from Varus will miss that time. You, know, you can only have so many good shots in a row before you miss one, it happens. But let's go ahead and drop a W there, nailing Velkaz. And, uh-oh. Oh, I hit him! <laughs> I hit Velkaz again, that's funny. Alright, let's drop a word right here. And see if I can make the player ruse. Actually... Winner rates up. Whoa, that Zonia's. Alright, you have no Zonia's. If I can just get a big Pyroclasm off, I'll kill everyone. And that would be awesome. But I think 
I think Blitz knows I'm here. I think that's worded. So let's go ahead and not get hit by that split. And this turret gonna go down. That will be bop and bop. Done and done. Turret is gone. Let's go ahead and pick up our red and get to level 11. That way I can have my level 2 pyroclasm and be doing a lot more damage. And we'll see what we can diggity do with it. So I should... Ooh, I can actually go back on this next back and get a needlessly large rod, too. Because if memory serves... Yeah, not a single one of them are building magic resistance yet. So, instead of getting any penetration, like percent penetration, uh, I can just keep getting uh, flight AP. And that will work out a lot better at the end of the day. Because that will make me do more damage. Where, if they were building MR, I would definitely consider getting a voice set. Looks like the death mark coming out, though. And that will be a Yasuo ultimate dashing over the wall. We'll actually get him killed. And that will be the end of that. A two for nothing. And we'll be able to push down mid with this. So, looks like Donger's bottom too. They're really leaving their mid turret open. So that's that's really bad for them. And Lisa not able to back because he's going to try and defend this, it looks like. But he's not really able to. So Velka's chilling off on the side there. Looks like the, uh, the fish, Fissure coming out. I think it's like Void Fissure or something. But the Fissure's coming out regardless. And I actually got hit by both ticks of it. And they will lose their inhibitor turret. Maybe we can get their inhibitor as well on this push. Because Lee still hasn't backed, so he hasn't gotten full HP. We should be able to get this, actually. Unless, whoa, not going to get it apparently yet. And here we go. Not going to get hit by that Q. And come on, guys. Come on. Let's... Okay. Okay. I guess we're not going for it. <laughs> Donger taking out the bot turret. And let's see if we can bop them the fist coming out. Whoa. Fissure coming out. And we got to keep... Oh, looks like that's coming out there. And the beam, I'm going to flash out of it. Get me out of here. Holy shit. And the pyroclasm coming out. But I got exploded. The flash ult from Blitzcrank will blow me up. And that will be the end of everyone's life. The ultimate getting blocked by the wind wall. And Yasuo just killing... Oh, nope. Not killing everyone. So a 4 for 3 trade, they're going to lose this inhibitor now. Because my team did manage to win that fight. Great job on their part. And I'm just going to work on getting this Landry's. Because Landry synergizes very, very well with Brand's passive. So it allows him to do a lot of damage. Usually you wouldn't get Landry's without having a Rylai's. Because um, the slow procs double damage on your Landry's. But I still do really, really, really like it as an item on brand. And actually, even after I get um, my Rabadons, I get a Rylize anyways. So, it's still a really good item. And the Rylize only powers me up more, while also giving me some more AP, that slow, and some HP. So overall, I find it to be a pretty good item on brand, especially since brand is a really long-range caster with his W. So, it comes down to how you use it, but it can be very effective. So we'll go ahead and pick up that. And he actually helped me out with it a little bit, so that's nice of him. But we can go back and get our Landry's. Um, I am about 1,700 away. Well, not 1,700. About 1,600 away from my Rabadons, because I have 100 gold. So, and another needlessly large rod amount of gold, I'll be able to get a uh, my Rabadons. And that will be a huge spike in damage. But since we got the Landry's and Needless now, uh, we'll see my damage spike regardless. And he needs to be very careful right now, because we did see people up on the top side, and yep, there he is. He looks like he may be in a pickle, if we can rush up there quick enough. Possibly something we can help out, and the, oh, the pull will hook him, and that will be the end of his life. So, the product of not paying total attention, it does happen, and I'm not going to, wait, will I be able to? I'm not going to get there in time. Oh, shit! Looks like, whoa, the pyroclasm will come out. No, it will. And I will pick it up because I found a blitz in there. The death mark coming out. And the dash to the shadow dodging the Q and back to his other shadow. Outplaying them so hard. Two kills. Will he be able to pick up the Yasuo and the Razor Shurik and the Hex Drinker coming out? That's so far so good. The Q missing. Yasuo can't. Oh, he can get the kill. Yasuo could not catch up to him for a bit, though. Very impressive show of Zed getting around in this bush, in and out of it with all the shadow manipulation. Very well done by Perdun. So that looked beautiful. 
Not exactly the craziest Zed thing I've ever seen, but it was very well done. It looks like the minions actually will be taking down one of the Nexus turrets. So, more like Winions coming in here, and that will also... Oh yeah, that fight got me a kill and two assists, so that's not bad for me at all. Hmm. I do apologize. I actually woke up today with, um... I couldn't even talk. My voice was gone. <laughs> And I don't know what happened. And it was terrible. It was the worst thing ever. So, I'm really happy that I can still make a video for you guys today. I didn't think I would be able to. Uh, whoop! There we go. Give me that taxi. And let's, um... I haven't been spamming my conservation stacks really well, because I've been being a total scrub lord about it. But I will just take this red. I would usually give to Varus, but he just backed, and I really need the money right now to get my Rabidons. So I'm not going to bother giving it to him right now. I'm just going to pick it up myself, and then I'm going to go kill the golems. And then I will get my Rabidons and have a huge, 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 beautiful, gorgeous, super Mega Man power spike. So that last auto will get it. Actually, my burn would have gotten it. But now we got the Rabidons going from 320 AP to 417, just with the purchase of my Rabidons alone. Not, not another AP item, just my Rabidons alone. Yeah, let's get mid inhib again. We do need to group up and just work on getting mid inhibitor again, because it is coming back up. So we do need to fight them, we do need to win, because even though we do have a very firm hold on this game right now, it's still surprisingly close in some manners. So do do need to watch ourselves. So the wind ball coming out, thinking I was going to sear him. And I still tried, but it will not hit. So as long as we can just poke down successfully, we should be good. I do not have any ways to regenerate a bunch of my mana right now other than a blue. So, unless I'm jungling, which, you know, obviously I'm not. It looks like he got a rune ands. What the heck? Alright, we do... We should hold off just for a little bit until Rise is here. Because after Rise is here, that's when we want to fight. The hook coming out! Will we get it? The pyro... No! No! The pyroclasm has been blocked! The pyro block! My life! I'm actually so mad. No, I knew it was bound to happen. I knew it was bound to happen. I'm so mad. I can't believe it just happened. No. My pyroclasm has been stopped. Stopped in its tracks by the Yasuo wind wall. But that looks like my team is going to be able to get that inhibitor. Unless they just get killed. But I'm going to take this red buff for a bit of HP back. And be able to push top a little bit while I'm at it. Because since I'm up here, um, I would really like to be able to get something done. And there we go. It looks like, damn, looks like our Varus is 10-0 and 8. So great job there. And we will be able to pick up this top turret as well. Uh, Alright. Rai is trying to combine forces with us, but he will die. You know what? I ain't fucking pussing. I ain't fucking... Yeah! Fuck yeah, dude! Get in that tower. I ain't fucking pussing. I'd say worth. <laughs> I'd say worth. We got the tower. We got the inhibitor. So that's totally worth. Actually, someone needs to defend that. So we do need that. Uh, let's see. I'm going to work on game my Rylai's next. Maybe? Are they building MR yet? No. So Rylai's next it is. And they're not... What the heck? They're not going for anything off of that. That would have been pretty much a free Baron if they just went for it. So I'm really surprised they didn't. And when you have a Yasuo on your team who has Shiv and IE, um, Baron goes down really, really quickly. So if you guys do have Yasuo on your team and he's at that item point, um, whenever you have an opportunity, make sure you can go for Baron because you can get it very, very quickly. Um, and a lot of people really underestimate that. So he needs to be careful right now because Donger's there and he's dead. So, again, not paying attention, we'll get him killed, and that will be the end of that. And I mean, I would love to go try and do something, but, you know, you know, I know they're there, so I'm just going to not. <laughs> I can't, you know, like, get anything anyways, so we need to defend now, we need Ryze to stop dying, that would be really helpful. Um... What happens? We should be good. Hello, Yasuo. Don't think I don't see you. 
But I'm gonna drop my ward right there. Oh! Wow, oh, how about that? Look at all the people I found. <laughs> Alright. Let's see, we should group top. There we go. Gonna pick up an amplifying tome. And now we should group top. And the reason I'm saying we should group top is because we have the mid inhibitor down. And yeah, we do have the same situation at bottom, but Baron is up. If Baron wasn't up, it wouldn't matter. But if we go bottom and they decide they want to group top, looks like Rai's getting killed again. And now we need to get out of here. So let's go ahead and see if we can get the stun off there. And that will be him dying again. Thresh actually picking up a big flay there. Pyroclasm coming out. And this will be a huge conflagrate murdering all of them. And this will be a boom. There goes his life. Absolutely destroying their whole team right there. And that will be the end of them with Wendy and a huge bait on their whole team. The pyroclasm damage just exploding them. It looks like the mains are flooding their base too a little bit. And we should be able to get this top inhibitor maybe. Um, we should probably... Eh, we could do Baron. And I, I just remembered I'm the jungler too. But at the same time... We should probably get this tower and back out. Um, actually, I need to be super careful. I don't have a Zonia's. And if I get caught by anything, I'm pretty well dead. So it looks like Lee Sin not going to go in on that. Not going to be able to. Ferris being forced to flash out. And the flash in from Rise. That will be a pillar for me. And looks like he's dead. So it looks like that will be a kill there. I'm not going to be able to get him. But I will be able to scare him off just by my presence. And that will be picking up Lee Sin for nothing. So... Baron may have been better there, but at least we didn't lose anything. So, we're still in the good right now. And if I get this blue, I'll get to 16, and I'll also, let's see, I, ooh, I'll also get a bit of my HP back. And uh, Whoops, that was the wrong order, whatever. Still going to be able to get the blue. There we go. All right, let's see. If I can, if I wait here, I may be able to assassinate Donger. So... Here's the plan. I'm going to wait right here. Where is he? Come on. Come on. You know you want your blue. You know you want it. Yep. There we go. Come on. That will be the assassination on Donger. Getting him right there. No donging for you, little buddy. Ah, looks like we caught him off guard. And that will be... Oh, shit. I'm dead. <laughs> Ah, damn it, Velkaz. The one who I haven't been worried about this whole game is the one that picks me up. Alright, still getting the Rhylize. And we shouldn't get Baron now because our jungler is dead. So it would be the better idea to get the mid inhibitor again. Because that way, it's... You can't miss smite a mid inhib. And when they don't have Donger, they're missing a lot of their damage. So this is a really good time for us to do this. Even though Yasuo is still up, um... It's still a very good possibility, especially when we have a Varus with a Guardian Angel to be able to get this inhibitor. Heimerdinger will be up though, so we're not going to be able to get it. The Q coming out, not doing a lot of damage. He doesn't have... Oh, he does have a Last Whisper. He's just doing not a lot of damage. And it looks like the Death Mark will not kill Velkaz, but still will take him out of the fight temporarily. So that is still pretty good for us. And actually going in on to Varus, but that will not be the beginning of anything for them and it looks like Blitzcrank trying to go in bowling the Thresh Leeson trying to get out here flash kicking Varus into a wall and they are just fighting this so sloppily that it is not going their way and Velkaz missing his ultimate everything is just going wrong for them that can go wrong it looks like Heimerdinger is the only one left alive a clean 4v5 for a 4 for 0 trade and it looks like, oh, the GA will not be popped. The Zonia's coming out. And no life being taken from the Rise yet. And it looks like the Hail of Arrows will be dodged by the Flash. So, and we'll try and push out the end of this game. So, very, very well done by my team. Absolutely beautiful, in fact. And I don't think we'll be able to finish the game. But we may be able to... Actually, yeah, who knows? 
Who knows? It's still a possibility. And there's the stun. What are you doing? Yasuo, get out of my house. And... All right. I see... Oh, God. Oh, God. What are you... Oh, shit! There was a minion! Why, minion? Why did you spawn in my face? Why? I just got trolled so hard. Oh, man. I got trolled so hard. Well, it looks like we picked up the top turret. This game has gone into our favor, and I think it's going to be over, unless Velkaz here can just total super carry the Dark Passage bait, and that will be Blitz trying to go in. Overload hitting his face, the Rim Prison, and the Death Sentence. The Flay coming out, and that will not be a kill. Just going in and poking his butt a little bit. So, that will be that. And I really want to get a Zonia's. Just for um, some swag zombie looks. But, uh, let's see, are they building any MR yet? Lee Sin has some. Blitzcrank has that thing. They still don't have a lot. So, well, actually Guardian Angel still has some. So it would be worth me getting a Void Staff. Even though it's not a lot of MR, it'll still really, really heavily influence my damage. So, I'll get blue, let's Baron, and end. So after I get blue, Zach and I should be able to Baron, and then we can end. So, because it'll be really hard for them to push out right now and come stop our Baron, uh, unless they're totally just doing this, in which case we don't even need to Baron, because that can just be a huge throw. Um, it looks like Zed just, oh, is Perdun going to do it? Is he going to do it? Going for the end of the game, just shadowing over the wall. And it looks like Donger's there to stop him. Is he? Is this the real X Peke? It looks like the knockup will get him. And the death mark to dodge the laser, the flash. And he's going to dash to another shadow and the game will end. <laughs> With the triangle of the shadows getting him out of there. Finishing the game. Beautifully done by the Zed. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you like and favorite helps me out. If you want to, you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, or Twitch. All things will be in the description below. I do definitely recommend you guys try Jungle Brand. It's really fun. Uh, don't do it in ranked. <laughs> do it in normal, because, you know, that way you don't get screamed at. Um, but as always, I love you guys. I hope you have a wonderful day. Peace!